Hey guys, welcome to Far From Eden. I just want to share a quick story. This is an unplanned video, but I just got back from going to the UPS store and um, the lady that um, was helping me and, and um, like checking me out and sending my package uh, was in her, I would say, 60s. It's so hard to tell nowadays. And she was, she was a little bit of a spitfire, you know? Um, she was clearly opinionated because she met me sort of at the door. It's rainy here today. And she was, you know, telling me, you know, she'd help me right here. And, and that's why she kind of came and helped me because I said, I'm just going to take a minute because the floor is slippery. I walk with a cane and I didn't want to slip. And she's like, hold on, I'll, I'll go with you. And, and she's like, gave me her shoulder. It was very sweet. So she was telling me her opinions about, you know, slippery floors and like wanting to have a shoulder and it's nice to have a shoulder. Anyway, that's what I'm telling you. She was kind of a spitfire. Anyways, so we were, you know, chit chatting as it is. Um, from a place in the country where we kind of, you know, we, we talk and we chat and it's, you know, it still feels like home a little bit. Anyway, so we were talking about uh, different color pens that they had. She wanted to give me a blue pen, ask me what color. Purple came up. Anyway, I told her how much I love purple. Sold a purple purse, purple cane, and I said, even my dog's leash is purple. And then she said, did you know that they're dying dogs? They sometimes die dogs. And we were like, oh, that's awful. And I said to her, because I felt safe to say it. I said, those women need to go home and have babies. And she goes, right? And, and we got to talking about how they need to go home and have babies. And she was talking about how she sees like the dyed dogs with like the little Ugg boots for dogs in New York because her daughter had moved to New York and lived there, whatever. And, and she said, you know, they just prioritize, you know, it, they don't have time in a place like that for to have children, you know, because their commute on the subway takes, you know, hours. And I'm thinking to myself, same in California, not the subway, but driving. And then I said, yeah, I said, you know, they don't have time because they haven't prioritized you know, having a family. And she was in full agreement. And she said, that's why her daughter moved from there. She said, mama, I want to settle down. And I said, excellent. See, I don't know the age of her daughter. Her daughter could be, you know, 40 for all I know. But I liked that I was <laughs> able to say that. Sometimes you just know who you're allies are going to be. I don't think this woman is as aware of how we got here, but she clearly sees that, you know, prioritizing a career and putting all your time into that, you can't then have a family, you know, especially as the mother, because we're supposed to be, you know, at home taking care of our babies because babies need to be taken care of like that's just a fact and shockingly they should be taken care of by their mother not a stranger at a daycare that you don't know who they are and like helpers at the you don't know who they are you don't know what their security is you don't know they're not getting changed when they need to get changed they're not being held they're not having you know they're not seeing faces and expressions and hearing words they're not getting that. They need their mother. Anyway, so when mother is at a job, that's not happening. It's not like the baby, you can't put the baby on pause. Anyway, I loved it when I can go out in public and I am like, okay, I can say something here. Just plant a seed or water the plant, you know? Because, good Lord, we're inundated with the opposite of go home and have a family. Go home and make babies. That was my exact, <laughs> those are my exact words. She, you know, these women who are dying their dogs and putting um, fake dog Ugg boots on their dogs. Like, yeah, your dog can wait at home for you. And that's, you know, it's still not the best. <laughs> but like... That's why they're doing that, because they have this need 
inside of them to take care of something small. They, they are, it's an instinct. That's why these women have these little dogs. Y'all know I have Lola. She was, she's the last of, hi babies. She's the last of the farm dogs that we had back when I, you know, was a horse trainer and doing that stuff. We had a farm and we had dogs and circumstances happened that I could not continue that. And, uh, you know, multiple sclerosis being part of it. But anyways, so, you know, she's the leftover of all those dogs. And she was a rescue brought to me by, you know, the, the man that was working there for me, cleaning stalls, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't take dogs to the shelter. So I was like, all right, well, whatever this is, you know, so I ended up with a little sort of like Pomeranian mix thing. Luckily, she's not a yapper. She doesn't behave like a little dog. She never gets picked up. She feels insulted when people go to pick her up. She's like, what are you doing accosting me? But anyway, I know I have to make this case that I don't have a little dog, right? I know I was always a person that was like, that's not a dog. A German Shepherd's a dog, you know? A golden Retriever's a dog. A Pitbull's a dog. You know, Great Pyrenees, Husky. You know, those are dogs. <laughs> I don't know what a Pomeranian is, but it's not a dog, right? And do I love that I, you know, have something that needs me? Absolutely. Do I wish it was now a bunch of grandbabies? Yes, that was not in the cards for me, health-wise and, you know, things like that. But I can tell you, if they say <laughs> that it's not a, a substitute for a baby, they're lying. They might believe it. They might be lying to themselves, but it's a substitute for a baby. It absolutely is. There's no doubt. It feels good when I can go out into the real world <laughs> and, um, you know, shed my secret identity a little bit and share it. Another thing I wanted to share just real quick, because I don't want to make a separate little video, but I do want to share it. So in my apartment complex, a new, um, there's a new resident. And I, like I said, it was raining and I was walking up what I call the grassy knoll. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, and um, anyway, I was walking up the grassy knoll rather than walk around the ramp and everything. And uh, it's, it's a, for me, it's a little steep. So I'm going up and it's slow and steady and I'm going up and um, there's a man kind of sitting in his little tiny little porches that we have and he sees me across the way and he asks me and I've not met this man like I said he's new to the apartment complex and uh, he, he says he yells out do you need any help and I said oh no thank you sir but thank you so much I, I think I've got it and he says, are you sure? Because I'll come and help you now. He's older. He's, you know, he's, he's probably a little bit compromised in his abilities. And it's raining. But I 100% believe that he would come out there and help me up that little hill. And I didn't say no because I'm too proud. I said no because I really do want to be able to do it myself. I want to, I tell myself, even though doctors say it's not going to get better, I tell myself, I keep going, I keep going. At least maybe I can keep it from getting worse. So, I, but I always want them to know that I'm very grateful for the offer. And I don't want to shut them down from like forever, don't ever offer help, right? I know, I know what you guys face out there when you, the rare times now that you do offer help, like I know the nastiness that you get and it's wrong. So I said, oh no, thank you, sir. I think I've got it. Um, and he said, are you sure? Cause I'll come help you. And I said, I'll, I think I've got it, but I will let you know. Um, you know, I think I, I said, I, I'm just a little slow. And anyway, so he said, do you have a name? And I told him my name and he, he said it wrong. I think they always do. Cause it's, this is, yeah, but I didn't correct him. And, uh, and he told me his name and I told him, nice to meet you. 
and I carried on to um, my apartment. So anyway, my whole point is if you've seen my videos before, I've made a couple of videos at least where, you know, the, the men are just so sweet and these are older men. So they haven't had the same experiences as say a 30 year old who's been yelled at because he held a door open for a woman, right? And he's like, I'm never offering help ever again. They don't know the story of the man who changed the flat tire for the woman and then she falsely accused him. It's like, so they're still, they still have that sweetness and, you know, what is the word for y'all that you, you know, you, you want to offer assistance? Anyway, so I know, and there's another man across the way that's been here since I've lived here. And I know he's, I know when he's watching me, make sure I get safe to my apartment. I just, I know that's what he's doing. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. And I'm so mad at the women who are nasty about it and who have shut it down. But anyway, so he was real sweet. And of course he was. Because that's... That's how you guys are. You really are. And if you're different, it's because it's been ruined. It's because it's been taken from you. So I thought that was an interesting sort of morning. <laughs> you know, I just go outside my apartment and I'm like, yep, these women need to be having babies. And here's a man and he's offering to help me, you know, and, and just being so nice. And he, I think he called me honey or sweetie or something like that. And I always make sure like, I'm, I'm just going to be, I'm going to try to live up to that, you know? And I know women hear this and a lot of them will be angry at me. They look at me like I'm a traitor. Anyway, but they can just keep buying Ugg boots for their dogs and dyeing their dogs and drinking wine at night and telling themselves that they're strong and independent and uh, living in some false reality believing the news and everything and it's like okay fine fine i'll be a traitor then happy happy to be a traitor <laughs> anyways i just wanted to pop on here and share this with y'all and um yeah take care and i'm gonna see y'all later on more videos <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day all right take care bye